You'll learn a lot of skills when you're preparing for a data analyst job. No matter what training path you take, whether you go through college and go through a formal program that way, if you do a boot camp, if you do self-directed learning, regardless, you're going to build a lot of technical skills. But there's one skill that many, many new analysts tend to be lacking regardless of the method of acquiring their skills. We're going to talk about that today. Let's get right to the point. The main skill that most new data analysts are lacking is the ability to find and address business problems. I wanna dig deeper into why this is and how you can avoid making the same mistake if you're just getting into the data analytics field. When I say that finding and addressing business problems are the main skill that most new analysts are lacking, what I really mean is that people struggle to connect all the training they've had with the reality of working with data in a business. You might be very used to working with data in a sample, a test environment, an exercise environment where you're given a lot of information up front, but you probably haven't done as much work ad hoc with your data being really dirty, with you having a lack of clarity on what you're actually working towards, um, without you having to figure out the entirety of the project. You're usually given a lot more direction when you're learning than you are when you're in a business. If you're getting ready to start in a data analyst role, you've already spent a good amount of time developing your technical skills. You're either somewhat proficient in how to program in a language that's used in data analytics, or you've chosen a no-code route. You're familiar with statistical concepts and the main mathematical concepts that are used in data analytics. And you've probably spent some time visualizing data and information in one form or another, whether that's Excel, Tableau, Power BI, Python, SAS, or some other tool entirely. This doesn't necessarily mean you know how to connect all these skills into the business though. Some of your time will probably be spent doing exploratory analysis, but most of the time you have a more specific goal that you're working towards in the business. But it's not as clear as most projects that people are working on when they're building the skills. So you'll have a business objective that you're working towards, but your means of doing it are going to vary. The techniques you need are going to vary. The people you need to work with to get it done is going to be usually outside of just yourself. There are some jobs where it is just sitting in a back room or in your cubicle programming or working in an isolated manner, but a lot of roles you're going to be more connected in with other people. You're going to have inputs that you need from other people in the business or information that you need to provide to others working in different roles within your organization. In most cases, you'll be working on something that's either costing the company money, reducing their profits, or is taking longer than what the company would like for it to take to be done. How do you go about connecting all of the skills that you've built into working in the business, working in an analytics role day to day? One technique to focus on is incorporating this into the training that you're already doing. A key question that you should ask yourself anytime that you're working on a project or analysis is, how does this connect to a business goal? Now, the analysis you're doing or the project you're working on may be completely unrelated to a business, but how can you think of it in terms of what a business would do? If you're doing a personal project where you're analyzing your Fitbit data, how could you tie that in with something that could be a business objective? Maybe the company doesn't care so much about how much activity you're doing or not doing or when you're doing it in terms of the physical workout and your calories burned and what's tracked by your Fitbit, but you could talk about that in terms of how long do different processes take? How do you optimize the processes? How do you look for opportunities to improve? Where do you see trends? If you're tracking the number of steps that you walk every day, where is it lower? Is it lower on the weekends when maybe you're relaxing at home or is it lower during the week when you're in the office or working from home and you're not getting up from your desk, your computer very often? 
think about this how a business would think about it. And when you write up projects that you do, if you're presenting those on your resume or on your LinkedIn, talk about them in business terms. Talk about them in terms of business objectives so you can really connect that analysis, that activity with something a business wants to do. You could also take this analysis a step further and create a forecast. Based on everything that you know so far, what's likely to happen in the future? Do you wanna change what's gonna happen in the future? Or are you okay with there being cycles? Are you okay that maybe in the summer you're more active than in the winter and you're comfortable, you wanna leave that as is? Or do you want to even things out a little more? Do you wanna have a specific goal of working towards increasing your activity at times where it typically has been low in the past? These are things to think about that connect back to the type of thing you're gonna be looking at in the business rather than just looking at the data and saying, what can it tell me? work towards specific goals that tie to goals a business might have. So efficiency, money, optimization, these are focus areas that businesses tend to have. If you do this, you'll find that you're able to write a more convincing resume. You're able to interview more articulately for analytics positions because you're able to talk about things in business terms, which at the end of the day is why you're getting hired. I've talked about this many times before that knowing technically how to do things is great, but you have to know how to connect it into the business. You have to know how to get the end results that people are, go are going for. This isn't just about you being able to do something, it's being able to achieve an end goal and all of this other knowledge you're building is really a means to an end. It's your methodology to getting there. It's not the end result of what you're trying to achieve. Thank you so much for watching. Please join me for next week's video.